What's up creatives, Seb here. In today's video, we're going back to basics with Premiere Pro and I'm gonna be giving you three tips you need to know when editing in Premiere Pro. And to be completely honest, they're three tips I wish I knew a lot earlier because these tips are gonna dramatically increase your editing workflow. You're gonna get your videos done so much faster. So before we hop onto the editing desk, if you are new here, welcome, my name's Seb. This channel is all about videography, video editing, and photography. I'm all about posting high quality short form content. So if it does sound interesting to you, then do consider hitting the subscribe button and liking the video if you haven't already. Ready. So now that we've gone out of the way, let's hop onto the editing desk and start talking about these awesome tips to speed up your editing workflow. So welcome to the editing desk. Before we get started, I do want to quickly mention I've got loads of other Premiere Pro tutorials on my channel from how to do zoom in, zoom out transitions, the best keyboard shortcuts, how to increase your overall workflow on Premiere Pro and many other ones. So I'll leave a playlist up here in the cards and down in the description down below, just in case you want to watch those a little bit later on. So let's continue with the video. So tip number one is going to be making use of your essential graphics and your essential sounds panel. So if you didn't know, it released, I think in 2019, you have these two panels right here and you can add them. So to go with the essential graphics panel first, you can import loads of templates into here and then you can literally just drag and drop them in here. And as you can see, we now have a cool text animation and they actually have loads of free ones in the Adobe stock. So just click on here, then press the free box and then you can type in whatever you want. So if you wanted an intro for your video, you can just scroll through until you find one that you like. For instance, this one looks pretty cool. You can also preview it. Then you just drag and drop it onto your video and then it'll take like a minute or so to download from the Adobe Cloud. And then you just have to press play and then you've got a really cool intro and they're fully customizable. So if you just click on the graphics, you go to the edit section, then you can change your text. So if I put subscribe to my channel, you'll see that it instantly updates. You can change the colors, the scale and all of that sort of stuff. So that's absolutely awesome. Next, let's move on to my most favorite one and the one that I use immediately as soon as I open up a new project, the Essential Sounds panel. So when Whenever I'm doing like talking shots just like this one, I always click on here, go straight to Essential Sounds and then I'll select the Balanced Male Voice and you can see that it's added some clarity dynamics to it, it's added some subtle boost and it's done a bunch of other stuff and it just overall makes my voice sound a lot more crispier, so similar to how it sounds right now. Another must do with the Essential Sounds is whenever you're adding your background music, instead of doing it the manual way and changing the gain like here or adding keyframes or whatever you want to do with your sounds, you can just click on here, go to the Essential Sound panel then they've got a music option, then you do balanced background music and then you can just adjust the levels right here. It's really easy to adjust and then your voice is always going to be on top of the background music so it's not overcasting it. You can also activate ducking so if you click here this will duck against your dialogue so because we have a dialogue right here it's on the dialogue tab your background music will duck against that so whenever you're talking your background music is never going to be too loud so you'll always be able to hear the person talking in your video. Tip two is going to be all about saving presets for your effects. Now this is absolutely game changing. I'm going to show you why in just a minute. So for instance, right here, this video is not color graded whatsoever. Usually you'll go to the luminary color, then you'll import your light, you'll change all of that. Now, because I'm shooting in a studio, I always have the same lighting. So what I've actually done in my effects panel right here, you can see that I've got something called Reels Color Preset. And if I actually just drag that on top of my adjustment layer, it's instantly added my exact color grade and color correction. So I've got everything on there. So whenever I'm editing a video, I just have to drag and drop that on top. And you can also see that I've added a bunch of other default effects onto my favorite bin. For instance, whenever you're making Instagram Reels, when you import it into a vertical format like this, you'll see that you'll have to rotate it every single time. So what you can actually do is make yourself a transform preset. So if I click this, you can see that it's instantly added the transform preset. It's put it scale to 50 because I shoot in 4K and it's also changed the rotation to 90 degrees. So I literally have to drag and drop a preset on there and that's pretty much good to go. I'll then follow up with my color grade and then as you see, the video is practically good to go. Another cool thing with the effects presets is you can just drag on an adjustment layer and say I wanted to do a quick zoom in, then I've already got one made. So I just click there and then boom, I got a zoom in. So that's super easy to do. I literally don't have to add any of my presets anymore. Just drag and drop and then my videos are practically edited. All right, now finally for tip number three, it's gonna be such a time saver if you do like talking shot videos like this video right here. So you know, for instance, when you make loads of jump cuts and loads of different cuts in your videos and when you play it back, every single cut you make just like here, it sounds really, really rough. Um, so what you can actually do is 
the default way you'll do it is you just apply a default transition and you can see if it adds constant power or constant gain, whichever one you like to choose. But a cool thing that you can actually do is if you hover over all of these and press Control Shift D, it'll then add the audio transition to every single clip that you've highlighted. And one extra thing you wanna do is that you wanna go into your edit preferences and then go to timeline. And by default, I think it's set to five seconds or something like that. You wanna change your audio transition default duration to three frames. So make sure that you put it to frames and then you'll see that it's only added three frames on the transition and it makes your audio sound so much more smoother whenever you're making all of these rough cuts so that's a huge time saver instead of having to do it manually every single time just press Control shift d and then add that to all of your clips so those are the three tips hopefully you did learn something new and you're going to start integrating these into your workflow they literally save me so much time every single time i edit a video so go ahead and do that if you want to see more premier pro tips i'll have a playlist listed up here and also in the description down below we've got like keyboard shortcuts export settings and all that sort of stuff so definitely check that out if you haven't already thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you in the next video